the message might be style. The message might might simply be a, a, a stylistic generation that moves from place to place, and and I know that that's how a lot of of graffiti styles became important in particular areas because of their access on the train line. I live very close to a train line. Um, I pass the train that's sitting along I-95 every day of my life and I love it. I photograph that train head to toe several times because it's parked there for long periods of time. Uh, so these, these are the forms that I actually pull from to get my work. I think the best message I've ever seen was on a rail bridge. And this was in a... a a viaduct in Baltimore, extremely high viaduct uh, with small metal partitions, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't say much more than a foot and a half wide, dividing the metal segments of this viaduct. And there was a repeated tag, it must have been 120 repeats of the exact same tag. And I'm thinking about what the artist would have had to have maneuvered in order to paint this so high, leaning over the bridge in order to make these marks over and over and over again, identical marks. And the very last one, let's say 121, after these repeated tags, said, I make jobs. They're, they're hiding their identity. Um, graffiti, uh, tagging, writing in public property has been illegal. They wanted to disguise themselves. They, they disguise themselves physically, uh, doing the work at night, doing the work quickly, and they disguise themselves by name, using an alias. Um, therefore, the language that they were communicating was known to one another, but not to the public in general. So they're speaking a secret language. They're disguising the words that they're using. They often, um, in order to, to make a word faster to communicate, it would frequently be shortened taking liberties with the spellings of the words, um, and also interlocking the, the word forms made it much easier for an, a, a graffiti writer to work more quickly. Those are the aspects that, that appeal to me, is how far we can get away from what we would understand as a Roman letter, you know, in, in English-speaking terms, a Roman letter, uh, and still legibly read uh, these, these forms look like puffed dough, <laughs> you know, they're, they, they're not even word forms, you know, how, how far can you take a form and still be able to read it? I'm standing in front of things right now, that's what I do. I collect weird things and I move them around and I think about how are they, they read as letter forms.